Happy November 15th. Yes, it's Tuesday. Many of us call it Taco Tuesday or Triumphant Tuesday. Just know that this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. And a lot of us are surprised to see this beautiful snow. Woo! Still coming down. Hey, winter is a coming, but in the meantime, we're going to enjoy the sparkles of the Lord coming down from heaven. Yes, the white glistening pearls. Our hearts are heavy. Yes, I just, you know, I couldn't sleep last night until very late. And maybe it's because I have a, a college age son, 21 years old, and looking at those very beautiful, handsome looking football players, just beautiful. Oh my goodness, the beautiful. They all look like models, including the one who pulled the trigger, Christopher Darnell Jones Jr. Oh my goodness, what happened? And of course, you know, just being a parent of a son, you know, I'm researching and of course I, I'm, I'm looking for the, the statement from the... The, the father or the mother because of course they're like what happened listen and we're praying for those three who lost their lives we're praying for those families devastated but I'm always one to press rewind like what took place and supposedly a couple of weeks ago Christopher told his dad that there might have been some teasing and we know that Christopher did not play on the team because of supposedly, or allegedly, um, a previous injury. But we know in high school, he had some successes. This young man was on the National Honor Society. He was fifth in his class. He, I believe, was MVP in his freshman and sophomore year. So we're like, what happened? What happened? And we know that there was an incident with hazing and yeah it just all fell apart and the, the red flag should have gone up when there was the report of him having a gun no one no young person needs a gun no because with their emotions being so volatile and at a split second they'll snap and then they'll do something impulsively that they'll regret for the rest of their lives. They take a permanent, quote unquote, remedy to a temporary problem. I know, I know it seems like it's devastating whatever that situation was, but that's why it's so important for adults to rally around these young people, I don't care how young they are, because it starts at a very early age, this rejection. And then they start feeding themselves messages, and then all of a sudden it has brewed to something huge, and the volcano erupts. Oh my goodness. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. That's why it's so important for relationships to be mended as much as possible. Give that relationship to the Lord. Parents, if you all are not together, <laughs> ask the Lord to, to come between you all for the sake of the children because they're dealing with a lot of trauma. My goodness. Well, we're in Luke 19. And in verse 9, the promise is, talking about households and families, we... we as a, a backstory, we know about the story of Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector, and he was short in height, and he heard that Jesus was coming to town, and he couldn't see. He couldn't see because of everybody's height. <laughs> we know one of the players who was killed at the University of Michigan, he was 6'7". So imagine him, you know, all these tall, burly, beautiful young men, <sighs> 250 pounds, and... 300 and then there's the kids in the background and he's trying to he's trying to see Jesus and what did he do yeah he he climbed the the sycamore tree 
listen, we, we are thinking about the Zacchaeuses who might be physically, you know, not like everybody else who have might who, and I won't say the Napoleon complex where they might felt less than or shorter than the big brawly. Maybe, maybe they were shunned by the sports teams or the popular kids and they were bullied and they, they just didn't feel enough. Yeah, I, I, I was reading a note that a girl wrote to herself yesterday, um, a middle schooler, and she left it in class and she was talking about how she's being teased and beautiful girl but she was saying no my my hair is not stinky and i'm not this and before they talked about her weight and just terrible things and she was writing sentences of affirmation my goodness it's rough out here for these young people well the promise is listen family members aunties uncles, cousins, you better pray for your family like never before. We're, we're coming into the holidays next Thursday and leading up to it, we know that there's a lot of plates that will be passed around the, the dinner table, a lot of people who will be missing, but something that will be passed is trauma. Listen, the Lord still can offer household salvation, generational salvation and protection for cousins, for in-laws, for exes, for steps, whatever, halves, whatever. It says in verse 19, this day is salvation come to this house for as much as he also is the son of Abraham. Listen, I don't know who is in your family, but the Lord wants to save your whole family because of you. You are in your family, not as an accident but on purpose. You had your parents, you had your relatives, you had the situation, you are living where you are intentionally. Now, what are you gonna do about that? Yeah, we would have gone to Psalms 15 and 45 and 75 and 105 and 135. The Lord wants to use us in the situation leading up to the holidays. It can be a very stressful time, but it can be a thankful and a blessed time. Yes, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He or she that walketh uprightly. The Lord is looking for some relatives, some people who will take a stand for their family and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in their heart. Sometimes the truth hurts when we have to speak to our loved ones. But later on, they're going to thank, they're going to thank auntie and big mama and uncle, whatever, whoever. The truth in our heart. Yes, and we do not backbite not, but we will be able to speak it in love to our loved ones. Yes, yes. And cultivate a heart of thanksgiving. There's a song called Thank You, Thank You, Thank You. Let's all say thank you for this very day. You got to count your blessings every day. say thank you we will all say thank you on this beautiful Tuesday whatever every day is a day of Thanksgiving Woo! I got a song look we we can we can fix it so that our young people can learn these songs even though they might sound churchy but they have to cultivate a, a heart of gratitude because they're going through so much and we want 
the Lord to men, households, and families. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. God, we are coming to you. And Lord, we are praying for all the families who have experienced trauma and violence in the last few days. Those students from University of Idaho, the three girls and the one young man, they said it might have been a crime of passion. Oh my goodness. Or a, a robbery gone bad. And Father Lord, we're praying for those three young men, their families oh, from University of Virginia. And then the two young men who were also shot. There were five young men. Oh, Father Lord, and one of the young men who will be having another procedure today, Tuesday, Father. Oh, Father Lord, bless be in that room, that operating room. He's on a ventilator, Lord Jesus. Father, guide those doctors. And then the other young man who um, have injuries, but they're not life-threatening. Father Lord, we ask you to bless, oh my God, Christopher. Lord, minister to his heart, mind, soul, Father. Oh, Father, even as he's locked up, Father, bless that mother and the, all the families involved in both of these incidents. You are the mender of broken hearts and household salvation can come to all the families involved. There's a reason for everything, Lord, and we trust you when we don't even understand. Have your way in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.